Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this video demonstration of an Android app that I have created. It's called Curve Fit Tools. And what it does is it performs curve fitting on a given set of data points. So if you check out the Wikipedia page, then you will find that curve fitting is described as the process of finding a mathematical function that provides the best fit to a series of data. And this is quite useful among the scientific community where we often perform experiments and then we get some data points and then we need to find out the equation of the best fit for those data points and even if you are an economics student then you might find this app useful so the usage or the applications of this app are plenty and um, the reason I created this app would be because traditionally or you know um, usually what we do is we get the uh, data points from our experiment and then we go to a laptop or a PC that has professional software like Microsoft Excel or Origin or MATLAB and all these softwares which are proprietary softwares and cost a lot of money. So we use those to provide or uh, to perform this curve fitting on our data. So this process can be you know lengthy because you would first of all need access to a laptop or a PC. So you know there will be some issues with that. You won't always have an access to it in case you are in a lab or performing some experiment or you want the data on the go. And secondly, these softwares are pretty expensive, so they cost a lot of money and not all students can afford this. So to address all these issues, I created this handy little app that performs this, uh, you know, curve fitting on a given set of data. And this app is completely free and it has got a lot of nice reviews till now. I mean, most of them are five stars and a few four star reviews and everyone has nice things to say about this app. However, I will let it for you to decide, uh, you know, how you find this app. So here is the app. So basically when you open the app, it has two columns here. So these will show the x axis values and these will show the y axis values. So you can enter the data points by just clicking over here and then entering the data points like one, then um, two, then three, then four, and then you can click submit each time you enter a data point. So we have entered four data points till now. Then you can, uh, you know, get, provide the corresponding y-axis data points like 1.1, um, submit, two, um, then 4.123 or 121, then 8.999, and then 15.879. So as you can see, I am, you know, providing a pretty much a, an x squared function. So once you enter these values, then you will notice that you have two columns uh, showing the x axis as well as the y axis values. And you can even, you know, um, manipulate or edit these values by just long clicking on uh, one of the values. So when you long press here, then you will have a pop up menu that lets you either edit the value so you can edit it to like, um, 1.21 or something and then click on update to update it or you can long hold or long press the value and delete or insert a new um, value here so this is what all you can do and the best part is that you can save all this data as a csv file so you can just click here and the data will be saved in the uh, you know the internal storage or the external storage under the folder called curve fitter then you can click on calculate so once you have saved your file, then you can click on calculate and then there are three types of fitting that I'm providing currently. That is exponential fitting, linear fitting and polynomial fitting. So you can just click on exponential fitting and get an exponential fit. So you will get an exponential fit of the kind C times E to the power A X. So the constant C and A have these values which are, pro are found using least square approximation. And then you can interpolate or extrapolate for a given value of X like you can just enter um, 5 and then you can click on interpolate or extrapolate and you will get the corresponding y value using this exponential fit. Then coming back um, you can check out the linear fit and you will get the linear fit and you will notice that uh, the data points that you provided are plotted as you know markers however the line of that is the best fit line is plotted as a line. Then we have a line of the kind like y is equal to mx plus c where m and c have these values that is m is the slope and c is the intercept and then again you can interpolate or extrapolate for a given value of x and then you have the polynomial fitting where you would be required to enter the degree of the polynomial so 
as we know that the polynomial or the data points that I entered correspond to a two degree polynomial. So let's just try it for a two degree polynomial and click on submit. So now you will notice that we get almost a second degree polynomial that is 0.99 x squared minus 0.07 x plus 0.29 and that is the constant. So this is the polynomial fit that we are getting. So it is almost x squared. Um, with some variations here and there and again you get a nice little graph and then again you can extrapolate or interpolate for any given x value so this is the app so basically what you can notice here is that it offers certain advantages over other apps that are available in the play store so that is that is another you know reason that i created this app so if you check out more other apps on the play store then what you'll notice is that some apps you know restrict the number of data points that can be entered so there was a pretty good app but you know in the free version there was a restriction on the number of data points you could enter and that was only 10 so I mean whenever you are performing an experiment you are obviously going to have more than 10 data points so that was a pretty stupid restriction over there and then there were certain other problems like no other app offered the ability to save or read the data so and coming back so you know if you just clear all this data then what you can notice is you can reload this data by clicking on read csv then going to curve fitter csv and then the latest save that we have created that is here i'm sorry okay so that was not the latest save um the latest save would be corresponding to today's date that is third i mean 12th of march okay so open that up and we will get our data that we entered so no other app offered this ability to read or write data as a CSV file so it offers that as well and I hope you guys enjoy this or you know like this app and find it useful and another advantage of this app is that the polynomial fitting doesn't restrict you uh, at, for the degree of polynomial so certain good apps on the Play Store only offered a polynomial fit that would you know work up to like seven degree however this app would work with if you have like 45 data points and you can uh, you know use a 44 degree polynomial too however you can never use a polynomial of a degree higher than the number of data points so the degree of the polynomial will always be one less than the total number of data points but if you have like 100 data points you can use a 99 degree polynomial to fit the data as well with this app so that is the app i hope you guys find it useful and you can check it out um, by going to this link i'll add this link in the description down below you can check that out and you can download it and i'm sure if you are a science student or a even an engineering student and you perform a lot of experiments or even if you're an economics student or something like that where you need to be you know uh, doing these kinds of curve fitting then you will definitely find it useful and don't forget to provide a review or a rating to this app i hope you guys enjoy it and that's it i guess Okay, so thanks for watching this video and in case you guys like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.